Good morning, friends. It's Julie, and today we're doing our Wetzel video for the month of April. Yeah, I guess I was thinking, what month is it? And I'm doing this a little earlier this month because um, just I have stuff going on next week, and I want to get this done for you. So what we're going to do today is this truly is the month of April. Um, all these sales come from that month, and, and there's been a lot of talk about it being a slow month. It, it always is slower because of taxes. It's not just eBay's fault, but it, statistically, it's, it's always a slower month. Anyways, we're doing what sold really quickly, so within a week or less. Uh, so it kind of challenges the point. Is our collectibles really long tail for the most part but these listings sold quickly now the first one we have here is one that you saw me um, unbox recently this is Brit Iowa real photo postcard and it sold within one day I did take an offer okay so I'm thinking that I usually discount things around 20 some you know get send out offers for about 20 25 percent depending on how long they've been in my shop so somebody I think they offered ten dollars so I'm like you know it's sold and it's out the door so um, that sold in a day here is the real photo po postcard of cowboys with um, in the studio and that took an okay this one took seven days to to sell but I got a um, took an offer for I think it was $25 and there you go now we have a rock wall in Ten Sleep Canyon in Bighorn Mountains and this took zero days it sold the same within the same day that it was listed so you're thinking did i uh, list these for too low but really i did do ebay comps sold comps i did worth point and sometimes i do extra searching this was a little higher than what this uh, area usually gets so i don't know so so within a day so not sure why but then again, if I had listed it for like two day, two days, two dollars more would have sold as fast. Would it have taken another month, another year? It's really hard to say. Oh, right, here is one I put up for auction. It is a meeting for women's voters. It is a postal card, and there is the date on. Well, they didn't actually say the year on there, did it? Okay, 1916 somewhere there it is 1916 as the invitation for women's voters which I thought was kind of cool so seven days for twenty dollars and fifty cents and there were five bids another real photo postcard <clears throat> st. Moritz grill in st. Louis Missouri sold in within the same day of listing again did I sell it too quickly did I sell it too low you know for something that I spent less than a quarter on I think that's okay if I wait another six months, I can probably get another couple bucks off. Eh, you know, I just, let's do the fast money now. That's how I'm feeling right now. And get a couple of dollars less, and then I can go on and get more postcards. So that's how I'm feeling today. It might be different next month, which a couple months from now. Okay, I put up another box, and this one I put up for Buy It Now. I put a note on there that every day, about every day, I was gonna reduce the box by about five or $10. Um, a Dutch, Dutch auction. So it caught someone's attention and it's actually went out to a viewer. These are all standard size, all different eras. These are ones that I, and I was honest with, I messaged and asked some questions because they're a new seller. And I said, this is basically bread and butter. Um, I, uh, I would say the average price, selling price is about four to five dollars. They went out to them. They were really happy. And I added up added a little packet of extras some extra postcards I thought they'd like and a couple things to help them with their selling so on 189 for 1400 postcards per price that's that's not a bad deal okay now we have this they consistently sold every few days uh, this is from my dumpster diving excursion um, I did only I did charge less than shipping because most of these go out with free shipping but I wanted to recoup some of my losses so I maybe made four or five dollars on each of these things but they were free sometimes on a postcard you only make four or five dollars so that was nice that this one sold I do have a few of the other books left we have the Memorial Day postcard and this one went uh, took four days to sell uh, I had mentioned that I wanted to list these to get them up for the holiday and I, you know holiday timing really doesn't matter that much although people are feeling a little bit more festive near it but the day after Easter literally the day after Easter I sold Easter and Thanksgiving postcards 
Okay, now we have another real photo postcard. This one was Acapulco, and I said I didn't haven't done Acapulco. So I looked up comps, and this one seemed to be the going rate, and this took one week to sell for $12.97 full asking. Here's a second prize winner. This is a St. Louis County Fair winner, and it also is an advertising for this coal, wood, and ice in Frisco. Full price for twenty nine ninety seven because I just like throwing a um, figure at the wall, and three days. Here's the that Dragoman's cook one, and there were actually a few worth point ones. I think they went for around twelve to fifteen dollars, and I thought, well, I'm gonna have to price it up. So there is wiggle room, and it's sold um, within two days for full asking price. So. Here's another real photo postcard. This is just an unassuming picture of a lake, and you can tell it's not in the best condition either. And this took six, six days to sell at full price at $9.87. This one might surprise you, but I started to make um, ATC's artist trading cards. I, I'm a crafter at heart. I've always done like crafts and art. Um, one of the th Okay, so anyways, I made a few of these. This is a paper weaving background with um, a collage of a fabric, you know, vintage look fabric woman. It was just a little tongue-in-cheek Tupperware party, you know, vintage thing. And so for $10, and it, all it cost me was scraps around my house. And that took, um, it took only three days to sell. I do have other ATCs up that aren't this great, so we'll see if they ever sell. But anyways, uh, here's another real photo postcard of Lake Chellen. And this one went, stayed up for five days, and I think I took an offer of about $7. Here's a real photo postcard of Tijuana, and this one, so Tijuana, this, these old Mexico views, to me they go well. And this only took three days to sell at full price for $7.97. You might think that's really low, but it's actually more than I saw sold comps go for, for this, this exact view. So sometimes he's like, did, is everybody underselling it or did it just hit the person right at the right time? It's, it's really, pricing is so, so arbitrary. Okay, this one is a lot of three Mount Wilson um, telescope real photo postcards and these are trimmed and I did say that in the listing. These stayed up for seven days and the um, then they went for full price and the person's already left me feedback to say they were very happy with it. So they, it was no surprise to them. That they did read the listing. Okay. Now we have this Greyhound bus station. I listed it at 37 with best offer. And I think it went for around 30, 35 or something. Uh, and it took one day to sell that. Should I have taken the offer or waited? Eh, hard to know, isn't it? And you can even make out the license plate on that guy. My dog thinks I'm talking to him. Hello. This one I got at uh, an estate sale that I got to be the first person to shop in pre-estate sale. And I pay, I had a couple of these, I'm only showing you one, of these old vintage Christmas tags. And they, one, I think, was this one sealed? One of them was still sealed. Nope, this one was not. But one of them was still had sealed in the box and they were only three dollars each and they sold really quickly it's you know we're in spring but christmas is still selling uh, it took two days to sell this one i think the other one took one day so for three dollar investment it's not a bad quick flip here is a family tree book and i got this at an estate sale probably paid a dollar or less sometimes the estate sale people says oh just take them I think they're just glad somebody wants these things but it's somebody's uh, little book about this family and they had interviewed everybody who went to this reunion which I think was really cool and it took one day um, so it hopefully that went to the family okay so this one is another real photo postcard and it is the San Court of Sanatorium in Tucson. This one took me a little while to figure out because it was really hard to read this here down here. It says Court something Tucson, but how they put the white writing right on a white part of the postcard, um, I had difficulty with making that out, so I had to do some searches. Um, I just put it up at auction because I really couldn't find a lot of comps for it. So of course it took seven days and it went for the minimum bid. Another real photo, this is uh, Grandview Motor Cart Court, and what 
probably sold it was all these things here, the Coca-Cola, the old glass top things, glass top pumps. It's just, I, people like these old gas stations and things like that. It took two days to sell at full price for $19.97. Here is a postal card, Zabel versus Schuler, Schuler Conciliation Court, and it has the names here and the clerk and all this stuff. This is 1931. Um, this is just the address on the back. And this one um, took one day to sell, and it sold it to somebody with the last name of Zabel. I, I like that when that happens because uh, they probably had a search for this last name, and they found found it. So neat you never know really okay everybody's doing it in norfolk 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 and this one took two days to sell it's a pennant postcard but it, you know it's a printed pennant and i think it, i took an offer for like ten dollars or something okay um i found this in at an antique store i think it was when we went to sheridan and I thought, oh, cool, it says shows Star Wars on it. And I've been a Star Wars fan. And there's so many of these Chinese theater postcards in Hollywood that they're really not worth much. But this one had Star Wars. So I made sure to say I, there wasn't anyone up there at the time. Um, I think I look at Worth Point, and I think they went for around 15 or so. So I marked my, mine up. Um, it took me zero days to sell this. Um, I th it sold overnight while I was sleeping to somebody who said, this was really cool. Do you have any other Star Wars stuff? And, and I didn't. I wish I did because that stuff sells well. So yeah, one day, zero days. So if you see the Star Wars one, uh, it's worth picking up. Now we have this real photo postcard of a saddle. It's generic. It doesn't have any location, any name. There's no signature on it. The back is just a regular back. Somebody tried to sell this for a dollar. And I think I took an offer of about seven or eight dollars and it took three days to sell. The last two here are auctions. And if you remember last year, I had gotten a lot local lot from Craigslist from this gentleman and I've sold a lot of really good stuff from that lot. Um, and so I put these up for auction because I don't know wh how to price them. I did try to look up comps. There's nothing really similar. And so I started them at 987. They're very large. They were the imperial size cabinet cards. And they're such really cool, uh, really cool images. I mean, yeah. So here is what the whole one looks like. It's not in great shape. I mean, it's got wear, it's got marks and scuffs on it. There's a, even a little piece um, coming off. So obviously you can see it's not a, in pristine shape. This one went for $30 plus shipping. And the last one, this one went for $89. This is Salt Lake City Commercial Club, Wiley Way. And so they have that nice banner in the background. So I knew what it was in the exact year. I'm assuming these are people who had signed up to go on Wiley Way's Yellowstone tour. So who knows if you might have a relative back here, an ancestor. And that one um, had five bids and went for $89. So there you have it. Uh, sales are up and down. I had a $300 day after a zero dollar day so it's not really consistent but you know like i said april is notorious for being lower there's always a, a reason why you can say my sales are down in may you can say oh there's graduation season june july people are on holiday august people are going back to school there's always a reason where you can say sales are slow but is there a way to say okay so kids are going back to school. How can I capitalize on that? It happens every year. So um, people are going on vacation. What are they going to need? What are they going to want to buy from me? So instead of using it as a reason for saying um, my sales are low because of this, don't be a victim of people's not buying from you. Yeah, there are other things that work. There's the economy that's, um, we've all seen things go lower. Maybe there's more people reselling because they are needing side hustle. Maybe eBay is, people say eBay turned their sales off. I don't really know how that works. It's up to you to take a look at it and figure things out. Uh, for me, what I what has been helping me is to add things besides postcards, like you saw the Christmas stuff, um, which were quick sellers, these photos, um, and cabinet card photos, the crossword puzzles, things like that have helped um, keep my sales going. And I do have a lot of that stuff around because um, of my antique booth. 
So think more strategically about your business and be proactive uh, and see what, what works. And so thanks for, so much for watching, guys. <clears throat> and I'm going to link another video for you here, too, to, that I think that you like. And I hope you have a joyful day. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.